Hello everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I am your host, Val Death, and this is the Moon Explorer 1. So, it's similar to my last rocket, but uh, this time I have unlocked the landing struts. So now I'm going to try and make a lander. I'm trying to go to the moon and land on it. I'm not using the radial mount parachute. Um, although I could to help me land on the moon easier. There's, well, no, I can't. There's no atmosphere there. So anyway, we'll have a rocket landing. We've got a little rocket engine in here for a lander. Fuel. Then we'll detach the final stage and return home like last time. we got our ooze antenna on the back. Door there. Little lander legs. And then we've got some uh, side boosters for our transfer stage. Engine down here, and then our lifter stage. I uh, just extended these rocket towers here. Got rid of the solid boosters. They, I mean, they're good, but they really hurt me more than help, to be honest. So, And I'm taking advantage of these new liquid engines, these new smaller ones. They're going to help us a lot. There, it's in here as well. Um, utilize our fuel better for these smaller vessels. Still don't have any lights or anything like that, but we need more science instruments. So let's go to the moon. All right, here we go. New nighttime launch pad. Look at that spotlight from that water tower. All right, I'm gonna try and keep it stable. Fire. <laughs> to happen. All the little one's helping out while this one goes and we'll ditch this part in a little bit. I should have made that as I turn these on after those were gone as a separate stage, but I did them together. Next time I'll separate those out in case this blast from these blows those up as they're flying away. Alright, ditch that. Horizontal. Yeah, that'll be good. All 
All right, so we need to speed up time. It says the burn's gonna take me a long time. So I'm slowing down here. And I really need to start doing it now, so. Try to get back on target. Since I was just having so much vertical, I, I, I didn't start doing the turn at all, so now I'm up here trying to just give myself vertical velocity. As much as possible. Oh wow, look at how I'm changing my... Oh, that's not good. It'll be a little bit oblong because of how I launched, but uh, I'm trying to correct for it now, but as best I can anyway. So these engines don't burn the fuel as fast, so they're not giving us as much power, but they're m much more efficient. But they take a lot longer to do this burn, so... I could be in trouble. So I'm already going down, so I need to uh, kick back a little bit, kick, get myself more vertical as well. Because I didn't do a proper gravity turn here. Wasting fuel. And I'm not doing science experiments either. Like I should be. in orbit. We need to be a little bit over 2,000 meters a second, so... But we are falling. Oh, there we go. Just about there. There we go. Watch this get to about 70, 80. There we go. Made it. Into orbit. Put the moon up there. 50 degrees, or about, or about 90. Or more than that one, uh, about 100. So there we go, slow, slow it down as much as possible to be going on the correct side. So, like that. Bingo. And we'll trim it when we get up there. Speed up time. I'm going to start burning about 30 seconds. But i got to give myself time to spin around, flip around. So let's flip around. And as soon as we should see, you should see the moon right there just crossing the horizon, yep. So I should start burning now. As soon as you see the moon rise, basically. And I burned a little late, so I'm going to turn into it a little bit. And there it goes. Our path going on. This is a called a Hohmann transfer orbit, bringing it up like an oval like this, and we'll fly over and we're trying to just catch the moon. Looks like I did a little too much there. Okay, I'm 
perhaps slow down as we get out of here. Wow, it's really falling away there. Not as expected because I messed up. But. Oh, we're going to be on the wrong side. There we go. Wrap it around. I'm going to have to speed up so I get on the correct side. Like that. That's what I want it to look like. There we go. How much feel we got left? Uh, that'll be enough. Because we still have this stage with the probe in it. This is just to get us out there, so that, that worked out really well. Alright, I'm going to speed up time and fly out there. Turn off SAS. Alright, here we go. About to enter the sphere of influence of the moon's gravity. We're past this point, and then things will change. It'll all be relative to the moon instead of Kerbin. Here we go. Boom. So, I again came ahead of the planet. And I'm going to be rotating in the wrong direction. Am I? Yeah, I'm going to be swinging around this way. The wrong way. Ugh, that's okay. We can still get back, even though we're doing that. If I was making a... Because we're going to launch in the correct way. So it doesn't really matter when we're coming in. Uh, how much we slow doesn't matter. I mean, I could land from here if I want to use the fuel. We don't have to get into much of a circular orbit, but let's let's try. least capture here. It says it's going to be a 16 second burn. There's Kerbin on the dark side and there's the moon. Always on the dark side. Speed up time. T minus eight minutes, six minutes. I'm gonna slow down so we want to point towards the one with the X. That's the prograde. Yep, here we go, one with the X. Speed up time a little bit, and we'll start burning. And here we go, wrapping around. And we're in orbit, around the moon, captured. There we go, ran out of fuel. away from their orbit a little bit. The only way to get electric charge is by burning the engine. Yeah, I can't move at all. Looks like I'm going to have to burn while well, I'm close to pointing the right way to get us some more power. Looks like we're landing. Let us do it.
Let's get a new observation with the goo. Nice. Alright, there we go. That uh, stage is depleted. Just launch that off. That'll crash into the planet. Whoops. Hmm. We need power. No good. Gotta have power. <laughs> I need batteries. Alright, well, we'll swing around. And then I can be able to kick the engine, slow us down some more. We're definitely landing, so. But I gotta get some electric charge to be able to control ourselves. Or we are done for. Bring this time warp down a little bit. As soon as I turn on the engine, I can turn. Ever so slightly. <laughs> it's not really recharging us. Now if I turn off SAS, does it recharge any? Doesn't look like it. Well, as long as I have the engine on, control, and that should be good. So see, I'm keeping it on the uh, retrograde marker, so we're slowing ourselves down. Coming down. And this will slowly move up. So we're going to slow our descent so we're not plummeting like crazy. Good old rock assisted landing. Let's go ahead and bring our legs out. Do all three of them separately here. Now I'm not the expert here, I don't necessarily know how to totally kill my vertical velocity. But I'm kind of just going to let this, let this go, we're pretty much going straight down. Oh turn, I need to be able to control, I don't want to be spitting out of control. Speeding up time. As we're speeding up, <laughs> hitting the surface. Oh, come on. It keeps getting away from me. We still got quite a ways. Doing really good on fuel. Coming in for the landing. Do a crew report here, I wonder. the goose egg. Nice, keep that one. Slowing ourselves down. Got a ways to go, let's cut the engine, let ourselves fall a little bit. Not too much. I'll burn just a little fuel, how about that? Yeah, because I still want to be able to control myself.
Good job, Jeb. Good job. Cruddy little command pod. <laughs> Speed up time. Coming in hot. Looks like I mean, we still have a long way to go, you know, but uh, looks like we're pretty close, but we're not. I don't want to hit a crater, though. Looks like we're going to hit the rim right around here. Alright, cut the engine and we'll fall. We're speeding up as we're falling. Like a sack of bricks. Alright, here we go. Getting real close now. Really start slowing down now. Trying to stay on the marker to cut our Cut ourselves out. Our uh, speed relative to the surface. Speed up just a little bit here. Kind of rotating between slowing down and speeding up. Now I want to stick right on the straight up and down marker as we land. Let's see if we can do this. Ah, look at it. Kicking up the slowest down here. We're pretty good flat land here. Kick it down two meters a second. Cause down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no! Ah, oh, because it was not totally flat. How do I get up? No, I'm stuck. No! No! Oh, that's terrible. How many times has that happened to everyone? I wasn't slow enough. Alright, kind of rotate and get up a little bit. No, I can't. I can't move. Well. Looks like Jebediah is uh, stuck here. Well, he made it though. Jump! Whee! Well, go do your job. Plant your flag. Oh, he turns around and plants it.
<laughs> All right, we made it. Well, I got off the ground, but without power, um, I'm having a real hard time trying to uh, get into a good orbit here. I'm trying to control myself. I can only control myself when I'm firing the rocket. That's the direction I want to go. Oh boy. So not good. Come on, SAS. This is kind of ridiculous. You gotta be able to control yourself. I got so much science here, I just gotta be able to bring it back. Because I didn't land good. Whoops. Alright, let's see if I can do this. I'll be back. I'm trying really hard, and it looks like I might be able to do this. Oh, get out of that mode. Oh, I'm out of fuel, though. Well, that's it. I gave it all I got. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna get all this science back home. So there goes the moon. And here I come hitting the planet. I'm gonna hit it too. We're not gonna aero break or nothing. I'm I'm on an impact course. <laughs> Coming fast. Yeah, impact course. Cat. I don't have any uh, way of stopping other than the atmosphere breaking me and my parachute. But I'm coming in really fast. We'll see what happens. And I'm gonna. Well, I'll hit the ocean by the time the atmosphere breaks me. Let's see. There it is. Let's see what happens. Oh, coming in like a meteor. Wow, I'm just coming in so fast. Not good. So not good. As soon as the atmosphere hits me, we'll spin around though. I'm coming in so fast. It's so bad. <laughs> Probably gonna blow up. Yeah, I'm coming in way quick. We're gonna hit these mountains. That's not good. <laughs> <coughs> not good. Here we go. Oh yeah, I'm coming in so fast. Don't blow up! Oh, the G-forces. Look at the G-forces. Red, we're gonna explode. Oh my gosh. Jeb's gonna die. <laughs> Look at that! Wow, 15 Gs. He's been crushed. Missed the mountain range, at least. Oh, we're coming in so hard. Wow, we might actually be okay. This terminal forces. I'm gonna hit the parachute here. Drag shoot. Wow, we're gonna be okay. Hooray for the pods. Return from an interplanetary. Well, we just came back from there, the moon. Sweet. Yay, he's all happy now. That was a crazy breaking experience, though. <laughs> 15 G's. I've never seen it up in the red. That means uh, they're totally dead. They could survive that. 500 meters, our chute will open. Slowing us down. Looks like we'll be okay. It's a ground landing though. Oh, we're still coming in fast. There we go, eight meters. About 500 meters above the surface. So this is sea level, so. There's our shadow. All right. Good job, Jeb. 
First guy to make it to the first Kerbal to make it to the moon. And back. Seven meters a second. Hopefully we'll be all right when we land here. It's not a water. It's not a splash landing. Come on, be all right. Please be okay. That's just a, that's a light touchdown. No big deal. Seven meters a second. Come on. Yes. Congratulations. Whoa, look at that. 290 science that time. It's that goo. Tell you what. Crew report while in space near the moon. EVA report above Kerbin. I didn't need to do that one. EVA report while in space above, high above Kerbin. Space high over the moon. Okay, get more like that. Surface sample, 120 science. Look at that. EVA report was worth a lot. Mystery goo observation while in space near the moon. And high over the moon also gave me a lot. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. All worth it. Let's check out our unlocks. So we know we want to get down here. Batteries. Science equipment. Oh, I need solar panels. Electrics. Solar panels and lights. Oh yeah, I probably want to do that. What is this? This is more landing gears. Walking things, that's good. But we need solar panels. Yep, totally get that. I think we want landing stuff and struts. Absolutely. Down to 153. Ooh, RCS stuff. Hmm, not sure. Be right back. Alright, here's where I ended up. I decided to take fuel systems to get the RCS fuel thrusters, fuel lines, so I could do asparagus staging, along with the stability enhancers and struts, that'll, I can make some really big rockets now, that'd be good, and the photo, pan, um, some panels there, and battery pack, I'll be able to actually control stuff for a long period of time, and we'll be good. So, just with a few points I left over, I went and got this to get a uh, probe, some more wings, I'm only two points away from getting this other engine here. But uh, we'll do that next time. Thank you guys for watching. And next we'll probably go to Minmus, the second moon of Kerbin. Alright, see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye.